Thanks again for saving me, sir. I'll never forget. Ah, uh, it was nothing. You know anything about the Technomancers here? No. To be honest, I'm a bit afraid of them. All I can tell you is that one of them, one of their leaders, is called Generosity. I heard some guards call him that. Generosity? Are you sure? Why are you asking? I... that's the name of an important Technomancer from the source. You... you can't take him lightly. Roy... Roy, please, don't kill him! Why should I spare this son of a bitch? You see what he did here? What he's up to? You think the General would let him live? I... I don't care about the General and what he'd do. He's my brother, Roy. He's all I've got left. I stayed with the General so I could keep an eye on him from a distance. Please. Just because he's important to you, I won't kill him. But he better explain all the awful things going on around here, and never come back to the Source again. Yes. He'll tell everything, then go. Thank you, Roy. I won't forget this. My sister. I didn't even know I had one, and here she comes and helps me. How fortunate. Generosity, shut up. I am saving your life, so show a bit of gratitude. Tell us what's going on here. If that's what you want, we're carrying out experiments for wisdom, our beloved Dowser. He wanted us to find a way to stop a mutation. That's all I know. Now, here, the key to the cells. I guess the only thing left for me now is exile. So long, devotion. You're surprisingly soft. Why leave your enemies alive? Didn't they attack you? That shock you? When I carry out a mission for the General, I have to admit I don't put on the kid gloves. I'm just a bit surprised, that's all. We both know there aren't that many of us on this planet. Life is hard and precious. I'd rather not kill people if I can avoid it, even if I have to knock them out. I see. What can I do for you? I wanted to ask you. I was born in Shadow Lair and lived there most of my life. Even if since the war, I've been doing a bit of traveling, of course. But I was always a citizen of Aurora. What about you? I was born in Shadow Lair, too. I basically grew up at the Source and then ran away as soon as I could. I see. How'd you start working for the General? You're really young. I crossed paths with the General when I was about ten. Took me on as a messenger, and as I got older, he gave me more and more things to do. Are you and he... lovers? No, we never have been. The General has always been very respectful. But why are you asking? I was wondering if you and him... I mean, if you were single. I am. I've never really had a lot of time for relationships, unfortunately. What about you? No. Since I escaped, I, uh, haven't really had time for that, like you. I understand. And being alone isn't always easy. But let's talk about something else. You said the General took you under his wing when you were really young. Don't you have a family? My parents died when I was around ten. Just after my brother disappeared. I'm an orphan. How did it happen? My mother had an accident at work. They said she was nowhere near as careful as she used to be. And my father became an alcoholic. He died just after he more or less put me in with a friend of his from the army. General Honor Grant. And how did your brother disappear? I don't know what happened. I was still really young. He was just a toddler and one day he disappeared. My parents said he was kidnapped. It's a touchy subject. I'd rather talk about something else. You've known the General for ages. What can you tell me about him? He's an excellent strategist and a soldier at heart. Sometimes he's real strict, even hard, but he's always thinking about Aurora. He defends the Gil like he was his mother, and I defend him. Oh, I 
I see. You're like him in a way. What do you think about the Resistance's cause? They're agitators. They only want chaos. The guild is already teetering, and without a general, it would have fallen already. Sure, they're not as dangerous as the Technomancers, but they raise havoc, which is something we don't need right now. Do you know this place well? I came here with the general during the war. It's one of the most productive hydroponic sites in the region. I mean, it was. The war did a lot of damage to the installations, but it's still a key place for a guild. If it were restored, it'd be an incredible source of wealth. What do you think about the Technomancers? It seems difficult to generalize with you, but most of the ones I've met are unstable, egotistical, and hungry for power. But of course, I understand that with the training you get, and the gift that makes you different, it's gotta change the way you act. You think I'm like them? No. Probably because you left the Source. Or maybe I left the Source because I wasn't like them. True. I didn't look at it that way. Sorry if I insulted you. You're a unique person, Devotion. Beautiful and uh, terrifying. Why are you telling me that? Do you like me? Yeah, I like you a lot. Does that upset you? No, no, not at all. I... I'm not really used to that kind of thing. I like you too, but I don't think we should be talking about that here, do you? I wanted to tell you something else. Roy, seeing as how we're alone right now, I wanted to tell you I find you really attractive and I never met anyone who was really interested in me. I really like you. Really. And as we're gonna have to leave for battle soon, I'd like to spend some time with you. Come here. I can't get Innocence's last moments out of my head. I feel so guilty. But, I'm sorry. I know you've got more on your mind than my feelings. What can I do for you? I wanted to know... What's Marco's problem with me? Marco lost his family in the Technomancer's jail. Like all of us. Of course, that's not really a good enough reason, but... He can be very hard. He doesn't forgive easily, and basically for him, all Technomancers are executioners. He forgets that I lost someone close to me, too. I don't think he really realizes just how close you and Innocence were. Don't be angry with him. You'll get him to change his mind. You're not like him. You get along well anyway? It's true we don't always agree on things, but we do have the same vision, Roy. And that vision is far more important than our differences. Were you ever involved? Because I'm a woman and he's a man, you don't think we can share a vision without sleeping together? Get real, we've never slept together. To be honest, he's not my type. But why are you asking? I basically wanted to know if I had a rival or not. <laughs> Straight to the point. Just remember, Marco's nowhere near the only man on Mars, or in the Resistance. But, if you're asking if I'm single... Well, yes, I am. And you? There's nobody. I never really had the chance to meet someone since I escaped from the camp. I should have guessed. My word. No, forget it. Let's talk about something else. How did you become part of the Resistance? I didn't get here by chance, anyway. It was a choice. My choice. When I got back from the war, I saw what was going on here, and I didn't wait a second. 
I got together with my former war buddies, who were as angry as me, and we made ourselves a little cell. Then Marco got in touch with us so we could join forces. You know the rest. So you started a cell on your own? That takes guts. Thank you, Roy. But in fact, I couldn't do anything else. I would have gone crazy if I didn't do something. What does the Resistance really stand for? At first, we were just about fighting a government that had betrayed its own by assassinating the militia. But later, other ideas started popping up. There was especially the fact that the people should be able to choose their dowser and representatives, so crimes like that would never happen again. They say that on Earth, that's what it was like in lots of countries. Seems almost crazy, but it's a beautiful idea. With regularly elected representatives, the people would be sure to gain more freedom. And imagine how things would change. No more bosses on one side, proletariat on the other. They would only be responsible citizens. Oh, Roy. Together we can unseat the tyranny of the Dowser's dictatorship and create a new society. It won't be easy, but is there anything more worth fighting for? <laughs> you shouldn't get me started. You'll never shut me up now. Let's talk about something else. He wasn't with you long, but I'd like you to tell me what he did while he was here. I'd love to. Right at the start, Marco asked him to carry messages. Sounds easy, but it can be dangerous. He did really well. He got fake IDs to groups being hunted by the Technomancers, couriered authorizations, and even resistance tracks. What else did he do? Marco ended up trusting him and recognized his bravery. He asked him to infiltrate the military base. We needed to contact certain soldiers without being seen. And he's how we learned about the train, too. Even if I almost regret it. I really liked him, Roy. He was both fragile and full of strength. He wore his name well, which is not something you see too often. Thanks for telling me all that, Judy. It's good to hear what he did with you and that he was among friends. Where do you come from, Judy? I was born in Val Ombra. Ever been there? It's a pretty small city. Life's good there. I came to Chatelaire to join up. I stayed here a bit, long enough to learn how to use a weapon, and then I went to the front. Since I got back, I've gotten to know the place better. You like this place? To be perfectly honest, I went into shock when I first got here. The social disparities are way different from back home. But in the end, I understood that Shadow Lair is a fantastic melting pot. You said you were in the war. Yeah. I wanted to enlist. I didn't just want to stay in Valombra with everyone else fighting. So I figured I'd become a soldier too, to defend Aurora. What corps were you in? I was in the Rangers. And I got lucky. Lots of us got taken prisoner real early. But I trained hard, and I was pretty good at it. So I only got back to Chatelaire after the fighting was over. Pretty much about the time of the Battle of Green Hope. I would have been sent out again, I figure, if Abundance hadn't asked for the ceasefire. And you? I fought on a few different shadow lines as a grunt. Nothing special. The war and all its shit-covered glory. But with skills like yours, you could have been a lot more, couldn't you? I guess you wanted to keep a low profile. I get that. What do you think of our Dowser? To be honest, during the war he was my hero. He was incredible, an amazing strategist, and he gave us hope when we thought we were goners. At the time he made us so many promises. <sighs> then he went and broke them all. I really thought he was going to give the people more freedom. That's why we fought so hard. All that, to take out the militia as soon as we got back from the front. It killed me. Now I hate him. I understand completely. Even if I was in camp when he became the Dowser, I felt the hope he brought when I saw the despair when I got back. Thank you, Roy. That's it exactly. <sighs> but let's change the subject. This is depressing. I'm glad we see things the same way when it comes to our enemies. What do you mean? We don't need to kill the ones we fight and beat. I think that's a real strength. 
I see things the same way. Why kill him? If only everyone thought like us. I wanted to know. Did you ever go to Green Hope? No. During the war, I wasn't in the sector. Before, well, that was abundance. Heard what happened here, of course, but I guess you know as much as me. I never met a woman like you before. So full of passion. So beautiful. I... I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> but, um, thank you, Roy. I don't know if I'm beautiful or not, but... As for the passion, that part's true. And I think I'm kind of proud of it. But what are you telling me that for? It's what I think, that's all. And I felt like saying it. I... Thank you. Really appreciate it. You're not that bad either. But I don't think this is really the place to talk about that kind of thing, is it? I wanted to ask you. Roy, I've given a great deal of thought about what you said to me. How it's for me to decide who I offer myself to. You... I mean, I really like you. You're really nice to me, and for the first time, when I'm with you, I feel like I'm not just something men wish to devour. I... if you want to. I mean, I certainly would. But I don't mean just physically. I want to be with you. Truly. I'm so sorry, Mary. I care about you. I do, but there's someone else. It's Judy, isn't it? She's a pretty woman. Strong and generous. I... I think I understand. We can still be friends, can't we? Of course, Mary. I really do like you. Later, Mary. Roy, I need to talk to you. I'm listening. I... I don't know how it happened, but... I've fallen in love with you. I wanted to tell you before the fighting and all that. I feel the same way, Judy. Why don't we fall in love for a couple of minutes? Or a, a lifetime? Looks like she's waking up. Did you really think you could kill my master and get away with it? After running away with your tail between your legs? You thought a weak woman would never come after you, didn't you? Mary, Mary. Like you said, your master didn't give us a choice. You're exhausted and really worked up. I... I feel weak. But when I got here, I was full of anger and power. What has happened to me? You had an overload you couldn't get rid of. Young Technomancers are almost never told about things like that. It makes it harder for them to escape. You were alone, and all that power took over. Now you're empty. You should rest. I feel awful. Like I've been ripped to shreds inside. The overload was too strong. You need help. I'll go find some medicine so you can recover. Here, take this. It'll prevent any internal bleeding and get you back on your feet. I... I should thank you, shouldn't I? If I join you... Will you teach me to control the Overload? I could teach you how to do that, yeah. Some people even learn to use the Overload without suffering too much from its effects. Are you going to sleep with me? Sean did.
If it happens, I want it to be because you want it to, not because you feel you have to. You could help me a lot, Mary, but you're not my slave. Maybe, but I want to survive. And if that's what it takes, it doesn't matter. I'll say it again. You don't have to, Mary. You should only give your body to someone if you want to, not treat it like a piece of meat. I... Before now, everyone used my body in exchange for my life, or for knowledge. I'll think about it. Thank you, Roy. Hello, Roy. Can I do something for you? I was wondering... You don't want to change what you're wearing? Your dress is ripped to shreds. Not really, um, discreet. This dress reminds me of who I am. It's a testimony of my shredded past. I've lost so much due to my ignorance. Today, I am what I am. A pariah. A renegade hunted by my peers, but also a new woman, free to determine her own conventions, without bonds. I suppose I can understand that. You're a little lost here. It's your last link to your past life. Alright, fine. We'll go on like that. How did you become apprentice to the warden of a prison camp? It's a long story. I... I'm sorry. I really don't know you. I'd rather talk about it some other time. What are the Abundance Technomancers like? Do they have the same status as here? I... I don't know much about it. But from what I saw, the people are afraid of them. Just like here even though they'll never be allowed to hold the highest offices. But they're in the army. They're officers. They are not allowed to form cliques or teams. A master is simply allowed an apprentice, nothing more. They're primarily a military unit, for the battlefield, nothing more. Why did you take the risk of following me? You would have kept your status and rank with abundance. I... I was so angry. Livid with rage, Sean had saved and protected me. I wanted to avenge him. Now I see that he was using me. But how was I to know that then, when he was all that I knew? I followed you for one reason, to kill you. You said he saved you? Yes, I... I'm sorry. I don't really want to talk about it. You still don't want to talk to me about your past. I... I'm sorry, Roy. I promise that when it feels right, and I've had time to sort it out, I'll tell you my story. I want to tell you something else. Later, Mary. You're a surprisingly good man. I didn't think a renegade would show so much respect for life. You thought I was a bloodthirsty monster, is that it? No. I mean, perhaps. My masters always taught us that outcasts were evil, but you, you spare your enemies. We both know that the people who use technomancy are always at risk of losing their humanity. The power we control changes us enormously. We walk a tightrope. I avoid anything that might push me further away from what I am deep down, including murder. I understand. It's good to know. I'll try to remember that. Roy, I wanted to tell you. I'm sorry about the boy. I know that he was like an apprentice to you. Thanks, Mary. That's, uh, nice of you. Come with me. I'd like to have you with me. It would be a pleasure. I prefer it when I'm with you. Roy, I've given a great deal of thought about what you said to me. How it's for me to decide who I offer myself to. You... 
I mean, I really like you. You're really nice to me, and for the first time, when I'm with you, I feel like I'm not just something men wish to devour. I... if you want to. I mean, I certainly would. But I don't mean just physically. I want to be with you, truly. You're not just saying that to save your own skin anymore. I've been hoping this would happen. You want to talk to me? I was wondering... I... I think I can tell you now. I was born here, in Shadow Lair. It didn't take long for the Source to find me. I think you had already left. Or I was too young, and you were too old for us to be together. How did you end up in abundance in that case? I... My master at the time had to go fight, of course. And he wanted to take me with him. The Source wanted to refuse, but he had tremendous influence. I found myself on a battlefield, and I was horribly afraid. I think I panicked, and we were separated. Go on, I'm listening. I was so afraid, I fell into a trench. Some men from Abundance came towards me. They were laughing. I... I think they liked the look of me. And then their officer showed up. It was Sean. He seemed really strict. In fact, he was furious with his men. He helped me get up and kept me near him. I know that he had to fight to keep me. That's why he was sent from the front and ended up in Camp 19. Why not talk to me about it? I was afraid you'd abandon me to the Source. Of course, there are good masters there. But they were also... Anyway, I often served them when I was very young. Listen, I'm sorry, Mary. I know some girls are abused, but... Anyway, it's over now. You're free of them. You must have a virtue name. Mary's not your real name, is it? Right. I was called Mercy. But the name no longer means anything to me. Even if Sean used me, he helped me live again. He stopped me from going insane. He's the one who called me Mary. Just like the rags I'm wearing, I want to keep the name. I understand. I'm not gonna lecture you about changing your name. Let's get back to my other questions. Have you already come here to Greenhill? No, never. I heard about it, of course. The battles here were so big, Abundance didn't want to lose the place. It was such a key part of their strength. But that's all. I want to tell you something else. No, let's go. It's nothing.